Hello everyone, Word Frey here with episode 15 of Desperate Housewives the game. Finally sorted everything out, got all working, we're on back on track again and everything. I realize the special features here is like load replay episode and stuff, so that saved me from having to replay the game, which I was actually doing until I got stuck again. So we're just gonna, you know, that's why we have a South family here, but we're gonna go with North Family, we are um, part 7 of the game, and we just sent a mysterious phone call telling us that our husband is uh, cheating. What Italian goodie does Edie Britt cook up as a housewarming gift for Mike? Uh, I don't know, it might tell. What can Edie cook? Really? Tiramisu? No, I don't know what she did. Pasta? Sausage puttanesca. Um, sure that is fantastic. Alright, so we are going to consult, consult, consulting, consult Susan. Oh yeah, our house isn't green. Oh wait, that's just me being, alright, no, our house isn't green. Ta-da, random comments. Any house, because you know, you want to have a green house, right? Hello, Susan. Well, hello. <laughs> You caught me right in the middle of cooking a new dish. Oh really? What are you making? You're cooking? I thought you hated cooking. I'm sorry, I'll leave you to get back to it then. What I'm just making? working on my entry for the cooking contest. I usually have to make the dish four or five times before it's even edible, let alone tasty. I didn't hear about any cooking contest. What's the deal? What cooking contest? I didn't know there was any contest going on. Who's holding the competition? I didn't hear any cooking contest. Oh, deal? it's just the local paper. The annual Fairview Tribune cook-off. Hey, you should really enter a dish. The winner gets their recipe published in the paper, and there are other prizes as well. It's a big deal around here. Uh, I have no one else to cook for these days. I might as well cook for a judge. I see. I guess I'll think about entering. I'll have to brush up on my cooking skills, too, I think. Uh, let's go with this. this and the one. best part is you don't even have to think about whether you're going to win or lose. Bree always wins. <laughs> Oops. If she wasn't one of my closest friends, I'd hate her. <laughs> what that woman can do with a few items from her spice rack, a little olive oil and a gnarly looking chicken is beyond me. You know, if someone were to mess with Bree's spices, I bet she would have a hard time winning. Yeah, we are not going to do that, though. The only spices I use are sea salt and ground pepper. Someone could should, should sabotage Bree's spice rack. Well, I guess. Who'd mess with Bree? Come on, Susan. It's not going to hurt anyone. Besides, this is fun seeing underdog win. I guess I'll go home and mess around the kitchen. The way my life is going these days, I don't have the guts for anything. Uh... Hey, is everything okay? You look like something is bothering you. Is it that obvious? I suppose you could say that I'm having a little trouble with my husband. Honest, things are kind of rough. Kurt and I are having some problems. I can't tell you how tired I am of Kurt's crap. Let's go with angry oh, wife. Oh, honey, what's the problem? Well, you can tell me. <laughs> I've been through it all. I think the bastard's having an affair with his secretary. He seems to make time for everything but me. Work, his secretary, even his damn haircuts. It's like I'm the least important thing in his life. We don't spend any time together. His work always comes first and topped off. I mean, to think something might be going on between him and the secretary. Let's go with this one. He is, even has time for his damn haircuts. Oh, I'm sorry. That's awful. Why did you come to talk to me about it? I don't know. I guess you just need to talk to someone about it. Do you have any suggestions? Embarrassing. From what I heard, you've been down this road with your ex. I didn't mean to burn you. I guess I just need a shoulder cry out or to tell me that everything is going to be all right. Let's go with that one. You know, I haven't had the best of luck with men. I may not be the best person to ask. If you want a shoulder to cry on, though, I'm your girl. <laughs> You'd think that by the time I hit my 20s for the second time, <laughs> I would have figured out what makes men tick. If there's one thing I've learned, keep your man on a short leash. If he's busy and you stay in control of his schedule, there's far less chance of him canoodling with the secretary. On the other hand, you have to find out the truth. One thing I'll give Carl, he admitted everything to me when I confronted him, in far too much detail. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to be the, a control freak, but I trust him less every day. Today I even got an anonymous phone call from someone. 
They said they had proof that he was cheating on me. I don't know what I'm going to do. Wow, that's more serious than I thought. You really need to talk to your husband about this. You're getting into dangerous territory. You know, some men respond well to a firmer tone. The way a dog does. <laughs> I, like, I like how people go on, you know, comparing men to dogs, but sure. Maybe you could help me gain some control. I guess I'll have to think about a way to fix the situation. Maybe you could help me. If it weren't, if it weren't so tragic, that would be pretty funny. I need to figure out what to do. Maybe you could help me. Oh, I'd love to, sweetie. But I can't imagine there's anything I can do. You know, I think I may have just a thing for you to do. I'm going to call my husband and demand that he come home for dinner. If you could call at around 6 p.m. and say that you're sick, I'll send him over for a house call. That will give me a chance to snoop around in his office. Wow, look at you. A woman with a plan. You're really taking charge. I like that I get respect from her. It's like, whoa. Okay, I'll call you around 6. Luckily for you, I'm a borderline hypochondriac. <laughs> so feigning a serious illness will be a piece of cake for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks a bunch, Susan. I really appreciate you helping me. I know it's pretty devious. Thanks a lot, Susan. Just keep him occupied for 30 minutes or so. That's perfect. I'll go snoop around at his office really quickly and then rush back home. You know, this is kind of exciting. I mean, not that this isn't serious, but I don't get out much and this sounds far more interesting than a night watching videos with microwave popcorn as my only companion. Yes, it does. I really hope you don't find anything incriminating. I mean, I hope you're wrong about him. I'd like to see the two of you work out. Yes, Susan, I know what you mean. Thanks for all your help. Bye. Ah, uh, cooking contest. Sabotage Brie. Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. But we are going to submit an, an entry. Cook entry. Uh, give your husband a call as soon as possible. Uh, we're gonna do the entry first, though. I wanna cook. This cooking is fun in this game. No. I don't want to sabotage anything, because, I mean, do you really want to win if you know that you cheat it? It isn't really winning then, right? So, I mean, contest entry. Um, what are we good at doing? None of those, apparently. The specials? Oh, dessert crepe. That seems like a good choice, I think. So let's do it. Add milk to bowl, add butter to bowl, add eggs to bowl. Come on, crepes. Easy, but still, you know. Sometimes easy is, um, but easy, but, you know. Uh, might be the best thing, not overdoing it, I meant, I meant. Okay, so have we submitted an entry? Any dish you complete will be added to your inventory as a cooking contest entry. Cook as many dishes as you like, but remember only your most recent dish will be saved. Your dish can be submitted at the shopping center table. Alright, so do I have it in my inventory? No, I don't. Ah. Uh, why is it not in my inventory? Hello? Okay, we'll do it again. Uh, will be added to your inventory as a cooking contest. Well, it is not, apparently. Looky here, nothing. We'll do it again. Alright, so we'll do it again. You know, hope that this time it works. Come on. Well, it doesn't take that much time to do it, but... So ir irritating that it doesn't work, right? Okay, come on. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know if it really matters where in the green area you click, actually, but I like to click it like in the middle. So uh, it should be served, right? Finally! Why do you have to do that twice? Alright, so. Uh. Let's submit our entry first, and we can, I guess we could, you know, call our husband whenever. Uh, so, um, 
You can call him from the mall, right? Go to the mall, crazy housewife. We are so crazy housewife. Talk to. You. Hello. Hello, Hello Scott. Are you here to enter the cooking contest? Yeah, I know. I hate having to ask that, but my dad makes me. Uh, here's my entry. Yes, as a matter of fact, I have my entry right here. Here you are. I haven't seen you around town. What's your name? Wow, you seem really excited about this contest. Are you new around here? I've never entered one of these things before. Yes, we just moved to Fairview, but as soon as my neighbors told me about this contest, I knew I had to enter. It doesn't seem like any of your business. <laughs> are you sure you want to do this? Mrs. Vandycamp has won this thing for as long as I can remember. They should just rename it the Brie Vandycamp Cooking Award. Between you and me, I hope somebody besides her wins this year. Well, I definitely want to win. I hope the judges like my entry. I think my cooking holds up against anyone's. At least I know I'll do better than Susan Meyer. She's a sweet woman, but my god, she's the first person I've ever met that literally can't boil water. Let's go with this one. Well, my father is the judge. He's the one you'll need to impress. All right, uh, let's call the husbandy. You bastard. Hello. I'm going to cook a family dinner tonight. It will be served at 6 p.m. I'm gonna be angry. You know that work is overwhelming and there's just not enough time to do everything. What about your family? I'm just asking you to be home for dinner. Is your family worth that? Come for dinner, please. You can go back to the office afterwards. Look, I've tolerated this long enough. Be home for dinner or you're going to need to find somewhere else to sleep tonight. But I have a patient at... Nope. What you have? Our firm dinner plan. See you then. And I have a husband who will be home for dinner. Uh, 6 p.m. Make sure the dinner is ready so that your plan goes up without a hitch. There's nothing like a fresh hot meal to distract a man from your ulterior motives. So, we'll go home and we're gonna cook again. Because, you know, there's nothing we like better, right? Actually, in this game, apart from the story, no. Cooking is the thing, right? Wow, you guys just freaking live here. So cute. I'm just killing my flowers, I know. Oh, weeds. Why? Don't I have a gardener? Oh, my gardener sucks. So much. Level 3 plants, please. Here we go. I'm going to water my plants da, 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 and kill them in the process, probably, but you know, whatevs. Alrighty, so. Uh, I don't know, let's, you know, go inside and just stand around basically until. We'll cook about four or something. Four, half plus four. We're just basically killing, wasting time here. I'm just gonna, you know, waste ten seconds of you guys' life with random, random talking. Okay, let's clear the table though. Actually, uh, yes. Are you done with the sink? Clean it. And now we're gonna cook recipe. We'll go Master Chef because Chef, sorry, because we seem to be good at that. Uh, chicken Marsala, because it's random. So, <sighs> oh god, we're done. We we have done this before apparently, but oh wait, 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 wait. Come on. No, no, this is gonna work. This is totally gonna work. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're. Oh, yes. yes. We're doing this so perfectly. Come on. Come on. 
This takes a bit of time, this, all this cooking. Uh, the, no, uh, the boiling on the stove or whatever you call it. Whoa. Perfect. Let's serve it. A plus dishes. And, you know, no food for the husband, really. Oh, now we have cooked, wow. Now you gave us the freaking cooked dinner quest, really? Oh, and now time stopped for it, too. Wow, that is, you know, that is just awesome. Uh, totally tricked me, so, you know. We're doing it again! Freaking game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Take it easy. Alright, alright. So... <laughs> Awkward cooking silence. No, seriously. Um... Yeah, I don't have much to say right now. We're just cooking, so... And we're done again. Alright, so now we actually done did the quest here and he's home. Um hello, husband. Oh. Hey hun. Ooh, smells great in here. What's cooking? Special treat for you. Special treat for you. I've been looking forward to it since we talked. Family dinner is far too important to miss. Didn't seem like that for like five minutes ago, dude. I'm glad to hear that. I missed you so much. Well, in that case. Let's sit down and enjoy this delicious... Hello? <laughs> I like that he says hello way before he gets his phone to his ear. That is oh. hilarious. Hello, Susan. Oh, no. I I'm sorry, but can I call you back? My wife and I are having a nice, quiet dinner and... Really? You have 102 fever and there are bumps everywhere? <laughs> oh, my God. Your hair is falling out <laughs> in clumps? And you smell burnt toast, but you don't even have a toaster. <laughs> Yes, Susan, oh. that does sound really serious. But you see, honey, it's Susan Mayer from next door. She sounds like she's really sick. Oh no, that's terrible. I hope it's nothing serious. You should go. I'll be fine, really. Understand, dear, just coming home meant the world to me. Are you sure? It sounds like I could be over there for hours, and I haven't even gotten to the second course yet. You haven't even gotten to the first course. What's wrong with you? Duty calls. I wrap all the food up and put it in the fridge. When you're back, I'll warm it up for you. It's alright, dear. I'll run out and get some dessert for us while you're over at Susan's house. I didn't have time to make anything sweet earlier. Thanks for understanding. I'll make this as fast as I can. Susan, I'll be right over. I like that he can, like, talk in his phone, although it's still in his pocket, and then he takes it up to his ear somehow. I don't know what he does, but take your time. You go work your magic over there. When you get back, we'll have a night night snack. Uh, we'll eat. We'll eat you're the snack. best. I'll be back as soon as I can. Eh, uh, please don't, though, because, you know, I'm gonna search your office, dude. Get going, you bastard. Get going out the door. Yeah, 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 I'm just, you know, waving you off. Nothing suspicious. Go away. Uh, we are getting ourselves to- I know, he's not gonna get back until we've done the quest, but still. Come on. Come on. Oh, I didn't press the... Alright. His office is over here. That, there is a safe. I see a safe. Oh my god. What is this? It is a floating safe. That is awesome. Hello, Jackie and your boobs. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Say cheese. You little bitch. <laughs> Jackie? Come on, we both know why I'm here. So the question is, why you are here? Well, yeah, I know why you're all here, alright? You're working on, oops, I mean for my husband. Collecting some of my husband's things. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Okay, we both know that you're here because you don't trust your husband. Plain and simple. All it takes is one little anonymous phone call to set you off. 
You devious conniving little tramp. Why am I not surprised? Oh, is it you? You know, I knew from the first moment that I met you that you're not worthy of him. Besides, I think we both know that he is looking to move on from his starter wife. If it wasn't me, it'd be the next sweet thing to walk through. Um, actually, it's the w other way around that, you know, Kurt doesn't deserve me or us or whatever, but, you know, sure, whatever, Jackie Merlin or Merlene or whatever your name is, you little tramp. Seriously, enough of this. Let's talk civilly, because there are some things you need to understand. Really? It is painfully obvious that you and your husband have been having problems. And frankly, I'm tired of waiting for both of you to come to the realization that your marriage is over. All I'm doing is helping to speed up the inevitable. This little girl, my husband and I may have our troubles, but we get through them together. That's what marriage is all about. No, Curtis, my husband, will not allow you to sink your greedy claws into him. Ah, uh, this one. You think you know your husband? He's just like all men. All he needs is a little more convincing to realize that his marriage is over. A few more late nights and he won't even remember what you look like naked. More importantly, he won't want to. I don't think you understand. If I can't have him, no one will want him. I'll destroy his reputation. He'll lose his license. And we know what that will do to his fragile male ego. So back off. So, Kurt is really, you know, the idiot here? So if I were you, I'd start worrying about how difficult it is for a woman of your age to find available single men. Just a friendly warning. Gotta go. Bye. Actually, I don't have a trouble- I don't have a problem with that because I have two other freaking men after me and one of them is so much richer, you would want him if you knew. Bitch. Mm-hmm. Bitchy bitch. You should head home and get some rest. So, you know. I already have plenty of men going after me. Duh. I could, seriously, I could be the one ending the marriage for another man. So, you know. Uh, you got a problem. Freaking Jackie. Not me. You. So, you should head home and get some rest. Uh, so what? What do I do? Weapon sleep? What do I do? Do I seriously do I sleep? Oh. Uh, okay. What is happening? Hello. No, 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 no. Alright. Jackie Marlin, your husband's secretary, appears to have some ulterior motives. Get to the bottom of her plans, then deal with her. If she's going to make this a mud fight, you best find some dirt to sling the other way. Your computer search capability is always a good story. Jump on and investigate Jackie Marlin. Oh, you are going down, bitch. This is freaking housewife war. And, uh, Sister Elaine. Gonna lose. Jackie Marlin, right? Oh, yeah, because that's how she spells her name, sure. Uh, scandal trial quits executive assistance of all charges. Well, coming quietly from the blah blah, freezes and clear all charges. Though we do not have complete information, it would seem the charge relied heavily on factors that strongly suggest involvement, but could provide no direct link for her and the stock related activities of her superiors. Uh, she received lavish gifts from not just her heavily indicted former boss, but also from several other executives. Several former co workers testified to alleged promiscuity. The prosecution failed to provide enough concrete evidence to satisfy the jury. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Win sexual harassment lawsuit. Very glad to see an end to this. Uh, Gifts that almost linked her to the inside of training scandal rocked. Cloak last year were in fact unwanted advances, especially in light of her sexual orientation. Uh, I 
know I know I haven't been posting much lately, but after the incident of having my hands full, you can really only appreciate the contribution someone makes after they're go gone, you know? I've been looking, but it's really difficult with what what with the end of the quarter arriving soon, holiday, blah blah blah. As for Jackie, my former co-worker, I haven't really have heard much of anything about her, but after something like that goes public, you really don't want to stick around for the fallout. I've heard some people say that she's planning to head to the suburbs and start over. For some people, having the opportunity to get a fresh start is all they need to be successful. But Jackie, I don't know, old habits die hard. Uh, Alright, so I think we're done with that quest, right? Yes, we are. So... Then deal with her. Alright, and we have therapist session four. Alright, but we are going to stop here. And so we are going to deal with uh, Jackie next time and have another therapy session. Which is going to be uh, very exciting and stuff. So uh, thank you uh, guys and girl gals and everyone for watching. I really hope you're enjoying the game because... As I said, I am now that there are no problems anymore, and uh, yeah, the drama is really, really building up, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I did read, some, read somewhere that what you did with your son and Miss Savage, if you pimped him out or, you know, defended him, uh, that it, it has an impact on one of the future episodes of the game, so uh, uh, we'll see what happens if we, if we notice that. And stuff so that's also exciting so uh but yeah uh we're done here so i'm gonna shut up but uh yeah take care everyone and i will see you soon